Welcome to Sculpture Studios for what would be a slightly less sculptural piece here today. We're creating some shield wall plaques for a restaurant called Victor's. We've been sent the restaurant logo with its crown and laurel surround and this is to be created on an oval backplate. This is going to be created from glass fibre so it's going to be nice and lightweight to hang on the wall but it's going to be artworked to resemble a gilded heavier metal. First of all we need to create the master pattern and this is what's going to be replicated using a mould. To create the bevelled edge on the wooden back plate, first of all, we're using a car body filler mix and a little tool to keep it in shape as we gradually apply more material. Now this doesn't need to be structurally sound, as this is just the master pattern, but we're using a car body filler so that we can sand it down and create a nice crisp edge. For the shield logo, we're projecting the design onto the backboard, where it's sketched out onto wood, and then Jess begins working with a modelling plasticine. She's creating all the individual elements of the logo in what's known as a semi-relief. Once the modelling of the logo has been approved by the client, we proceed to create a silicon rubber mould. The rubber assures us that all of the detail is retained when the shield is cast, and to ensure that the mould stays perfectly flat, we back this up with a jacket of plaster of Paris. We're using plaster as opposed to fibreglass that you might see us using in other videos for silicon moulds, as there's literally only going to be a couple of these being made. It's what's known as a waste mould, even though we're only talking about the jacket part itself here, where a most cost-effective mould is created to be disposed of afterwards. Here we have the mould actually taken off. All come out nice and clean. There we are, back in its uh, plaster jacket this time instead of a fiberglass jacket. Just to hold it form. And we've got this here. And it just lays back inside. Pops down into its jacket. It seems to have worked out quite well. To create the cast, we go into the mould with a gel coat of resin first to get into all the detail and create a nice smooth front surface. A bit of chop strand mat on top of the gel coat is so that the fiberglass has a textured surface to hold onto. To create this heavy, almost lead or bronze type finish, Aiden's using a 2K paint and a theatrical dry brush technique. 
The client then requested for the logo to be even punchier, and to be black and gold rather than a dark bronze. So Aiden then used a gilding wax to really highlight all the detail, and at the end of the video you can see how the look of the sculpture has changed. These were then sent to Victor's restaurant in Oxford, where they were set up on the wall inside the restaurant itself. To compensate for the fact that there's next to no silliness in this video at all, here's Aiden and Jess having a little micro boogie. So if any of you visit Victor's restaurant in Oxford and you see these plaques on the wall, you'll know where these came from and how they were made. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook and follow at Aiden Hines on Twitter. And for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.